Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is the kind of matchup you salivate over. Two of the elite programs in all of college football, both of them used to this huge stage, and both of them used to performing at their best when the stakes are the highest. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. toughest stadiums in the country to play in. Kyle Field is the site of today's battle. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. And he'll return this one from the seventh. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. TCU's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brett, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and 10, ball on the 39. On the ground with the tailback. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. He can run to the 20. And he's brought down at the 14-yard line. The Horn Frogs always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Tackled after positive yardage. Bradley gets six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. Check three, check three, check three. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Sooners had a spot in the top ten at number seven. And they believe that performance proved the point that they belong. And for Oklahoma, they put together four straight wins. And for Holmes, an outstanding day with three touchdown catches. The Sooners win it big. And for the Aggies, well... You don't need any more motivation than what you've already seen. With that score in, they know they've got to win this game. TCU is ready to kick it away. Smith from the four. At the 30. Tackle at the 33. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 41. 
Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. They're about four yards away here on third down. I got two. I got two. Got it, got it. Down he goes at the 40-yard line. Williams comes away with about two yards and a little draw play. Denman is back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. TCU's offense deserves all the credit in the world. You come into a crowd like this, and they didn't keep them from doing the job at hand. They got points on that opening march. Just really impressive. It, considering this is, I think, one of the toughest environments in all the college football, that's a job well done. Now they've got to continue to try to build off of that opening march. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. their own 41 yard line second down TCU is up a score crosses out to the tailback on the screen Drop down at the 39 Third and ten. Ball on their own 39. And he hits him hard. The 47-yard line. He's at the 30, and they push him out around the 19-yard line. Great run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. Taken down at the 16-yard line. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He gets rid of this one. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. TCU is up seven. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Across midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Quick strike, and he drops it. From the 
from the 44-yard line. It's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Certainly they don't have the return on here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Horned Frogs are having their way on offense so far in this football game. Just a nice rhythm to what they're trying to do. It's a balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop them. We've played one. The Horned Frogs in front, 10-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They bring him down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches. And even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Here's a run, and they make the stop around the 21-yard line. it to the 45-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gets out to around the 32. Taken down at the 31-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. It's been a long day for you. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Easy, easy. Tackle at about the 21. three yards not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that it's second and 13 ball on the 24 Very good tackle in space. Throws 
and he's got a man. Touchdown. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he adds the extra point. So the Aggies have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Brian looks ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. At the 30. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. TCU is up a field goal. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at about the 41. That makes it second and six. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. They try the right side. Makes it out to about the 50. That makes it first and 10. Gets to around the 42. TCU's going to use their first time out of the half here. That makes it second About two minutes before halftime. Here's an opening. He's at the 30. Good open field tackle. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. From the 26 yard line. First down. Makes the first down catch. On the pass, touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Bulldogs were ranked ninth in the country. After that performance, I think we all see why. And for Georgia, they've won two straight. And for Doyle, he was on the receiving end of a pair of touchdown passes. Ten point game here, Reese, 17 7. They line up to kick this one away. Taken from the three-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. And he's leveled the 39-yard line. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it 31. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Good track. Good track. Green nine. Green. And he's knocked out. 
down immediately after the catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 36-yard line, first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Texas A&M is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Scrambling around. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Flair! Now he tries to buy some time. That's a great tackle at the 36. Brad, not only do they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, eight. He launches one for the end zone. Incomplete. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The Horn Frogs with a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play. And that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard. And, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know. Do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. It's the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he just got drilled. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. at about the 25-yard line. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage, and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. Kill, kill, kill! Big opening! Gains his way to the 49-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. Five, 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 two, 20. 
He's into the open field. And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. away here on second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made at the 16. That'll make it 35. on the run and they get the sack he has one job on passing situations get to the quarterback and he did that job very very well on that play fourth down they'll line it up for the field goal and they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here he gets it up, and it is good. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. Texas A&M is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. TCU is up a score. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 35. So the Aggies running back left the game earlier with that injury. And now it's unlikely, they tell us, that he's going to be able to return today. Taken down in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. About the 43 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on their own 43. Just throws this one away. Six yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. That makes it so important. Smith awaiting the return. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and 10. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield we head to the final quarter and we've got a great game on our hands 17 10 tcu Set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And they make the stop around the 35 yard line. Anderson gets three yards on the carry. second chance but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception here's the eighth play of the series so it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field scramble and they bring him down for a sack on the play loss of one on the play that'll bring up second and 11 and this is the 11th play of the current drive watch 36 36 to mike red two He is drilled at the 28-yard line. Scrambling. 
He's tackled at the 20-yard line. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Just under three to go in regulation. Kill, kill, kill! Three. Three. Check, 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 check! Go! And he's taken down at the 10. Tackles him hard at the nine-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of one yard. yard. That, that brings him second and goal. Steal that. Steal that. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Hey, kill, 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 kill. Green 15. Where? Check, check, check. Look <laughs> Throws incomplete intended for his wideouts. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. And he's tackled in the open field. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. it to the six-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Second and ten. Ball on the six. Just under two minutes in the game. They'll bring him down to the seven-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Texas A&M's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Slings it, and he hits him hard at the 22-yard line. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 22. Nice run to the left there. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Gets out to around the 38. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 38. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Scoring points was a special occasion on this day. It's final. 17-10, TCU. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.